What's going on guys? It's Ace here with the week 11 picks and the season's really flying by. Of course, that might be because I waited till uh week 6 or so to start this series, but yeah, not a I mean, Let's go ahead and review week 10's uh, matchups here. I chose the Ravens over the Browns. That was a good pick. Uh of course, the Browns just who they're bad. Uh the Packers it was a bad loss for them. The Titans looked good. Uh, the Vikings fell to the Redskins. I thought Washington might pull it off, and they did, so good for them. The Vikings now 0-4 in the last four games. Not looking too good for them. The uh, Falcons lost to the Eagles. It looks like the NFC East is really sizing up to be the strongest division in football. I don't think there's any doubt about it right now. Uh, the Bears looked horrible against the Buccaneers. I thought they would continue their upward trend. They were looking good after beating the Vikings. Uh, I thought they had something in them to beat the Buccaneers, but clearly they did not. Uh, then you move on to the Chiefs against the Panthers. I called that one right, but just barely. The Panthers got up 17-0 on the Chiefs. I thought the Panthers were going to continue that win streak they had going, but they did not. And the Chiefs were able to pull it out and get me a win for the week, so that's good. The Texans beat the Jaguars. It wasn't as easy as they would have liked. Um, I would have preferred if the Jaguars had beaten the Texans, but uh, I still don't think either team's that good. That's that. Uh, Connor, I went with your Saints this week for the first time, and it was to my detriment here. They are not the winning team this week, and I'm not so sure if I'm going to pick them next week. We'll have to get into that in a moment here. But the Broncos were able to come through with one in a crazy finish. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, look it up. It was really crazy. But the Rams and the Jets, man, that was just 9-6. to six. You never want to see a game end like that. That's horrible. Uh, the Dolphins and Chargers. Dolphins, man, one of you guys keeps telling me the Dolphins are going to win. I doubt you every time, and for some reason they keep on winning. And they're 5-4. and four. I mean, That's a pretty good record considering how they started. So uh, the Chargers, that's not good for them. They're going to lose a grip on that division. They, they had a chance to compete in it, and I'm not sure if they do anymore. The 49ers lost to the Cardinals, and one that was closer than expected. The Cardinals are definitely not as good as they were. The 49ers, they're really not as good as they were back when they had Harbaugh, and they fall to 1-8. and eight. The uh, Cowboys, man, what a game. These next two were incredible games to watch. The Cowboys won against the Steelers. The offense is incredible. They might be the best team in the league. Uh, you know, the rest of the season will be able to uh, iron that out and we'll be able to tell. But um, the Steelers looked good. Uh, they, just, they weren't able to stop Dak Prescott and Zeke Elliott and that offensive line, man. I'm really excited for the Cowboys. Not a big Cowboys fan, but I do like the personnel right now. It's pretty cool to see them doing well. Uh, Seattle and the Patriots, boy, whoever thought you have Tom Brady uh, first in goal and has four downs to come away with something and comes away with nothing. So what a defensive stand by the Seahawks at the end. The Seahawks looked incredible. The Patriots still look good. Um, I'm sure they're still probably ranked number one in most power rankings. The Cowboys might be edging them out now. But, uh, you know, and the Bengals and the Giants, uh, the Bengals are trash. I hope none of you guys are Bengals fans because – just the most mediocre team out there right now. The Giants, they were able to hold on to a win. That was uh, pretty good for them. And like I said, NFC East, very strong. So let's get into Week 11's picks, guys. And I haven't seen these yet, so we're going to be taking a look at them together here. Going to start with the Saints and the Panthers. Okay, this is the Thursday night matchup, and the Saints are going to be wearing some pretty cool color rush uniforms. I'm going with the Saints. Uh, the Panthers, I just don't know if they can stop Drew Brees in that offense. They're pretty nice. Cardinals and Vikings. This one's kind of tough because both teams are kind of what you know, they were. They were good at one time. So uh, i got to pick one to bounce back. And I'm going to go with the Vikings at home in that crazy stadium to beat the Cardinals and try to get something back in the NFC North. The Bears and the Giants, got to go with the Giants. The Bears, whew, so many turnovers last Sunday. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be bad to change that up. The Titans and Colts, I'm actually kind of scared of this matchup because of how they uh, tore apart the um, Packers, and we kind of struggled with the Packers, but you know, you know I'm going with the Colts. It ain't even worth uh, contemplating there. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Kansas City Chiefs. Got to go with the Chiefs right now. The Bucks looked pretty good, but I think it was just more the Bears looking bad against them. Um, the Chiefs, uh, they're 7-2. and two. Did anybody realize that? I mean, that's pretty good, and they kind of snuck up. I didn't even realize uh, they were doing that well. And then the Bills and the Bengals, going with the Bills, if I can click them. There we go. Going with the Bills in that matchup because uh, Cincinnati's just kind of bad. They, what is happening? It's like graying out. I don't know if it's loading in my pick or what. Anyway, Steelers and Browns. You know the Steelers are taking that one. 
Uh, the Ravens and Cowboys, the Cowboys ought to go right over them. The Lions and Jags got to pick Detroit. Dolphins and Rams, I'm going with you Dolphins this time. I'm tired of the Rams. Your golf is starting, so the uh, first overall pick of the season or the draft is going to be starting. That's going to be, I don't know, I guess it'll be a test for him. We'll see how good he is. Uh, the Patriots are going to beat the 49ers. There's little doubt in my mind about that one. Eagles and Hawks, it might be a good game. Got to go with the Hawks, 6-2-1. and two and one. I didn't realize their record was that good. Uh, I guess let, um, the Sunday night game really helped them out. Packers and Skins, Packers have to be frustrated. I don't really know if there's anything that they can do to bounce back. Uh, Washington's hot right now. Like I said, NFC East going strong. And then the Monday game that's going to happen in Mexico City. And you know there's a lot of Mexican Raiders fans. So that place is going to be loud. So the Raiders are going to beat the Texans, man. The Raiders are just looking strong. They're a dangerous team. Best uniforms in the league. And that's what's going to happen next week. So tune in next time to see how I did. And let me know in the comments how wrong I am. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.